are back. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, yeah. Gotta watch that timer a little closer. That was a 30 minute episode. This town sure is peaceful, Zach. Yes, I know. I know what you're about to say. But that's why we're here. To protect this peace. Isn't that right, Zach? The streets in New Orleans were a mess, all busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons... Oh, they aren't kidding. I'm doing this all the wrong way. There's no, there's not even a need to do the perimeter, just boom, boom, boom. I call every time I'm killing them, I'm only killing quote unquote one B. small rubber bullets because I'm shooting through these. Seven. Hopefully, 
completely stingers and shit are worth something. That was 28, there's 29. big sound is, but it happens consistently. Hey there, Miss. I knew you were going to say Cujo. Cujo. I know where to go for the wild dogs.
Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons truly do control this place, for better or worse. It's a good example of how allowing certain people to rise to power can have <coughs> positive effects as well. Also, don't you find that southern people are like remarkably more friendly, them. even to total strangers? Both here and in New Orleans, I've been amazed at how cordial everyone is. Is it just the way things are down here? You certainly don't see that sort of thing in New York or D.C. They never stop to chit-chat, especially when ordering food. They only say what's necessary, without any decoration. A customer only makes eye contact with the waiter about once every three times they interact. But that's just how it is. Isn't that right, Zach? The human relationships here are as fluid as an inorganic mechanism running on the smoothest, purest oil there is. And it feels strangely comfortable. After spending time in New Orleans and coming here, I think I'm starting to like the southern disposition. They even have their own breed of bizarre crimes. And besides, the New Orleans area is famous for its paranormal culture. I'm sure it'll entertain us somehow. It's still a bit of a ways off, but perhaps we can also do a little case study for our post-retirement plan. What? You still think it's too early for that? I wouldn't say so. It's never too early to be prepared. Come on, I know you're with me on this one, Zach. I thought this entire area had to buy it. something considering all the shit I've got. Let's 
Still can't cry any charms. <clears throat> Close. I can see thou hast. This is the deep sound. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? Upstairs and see the chef so I can advance that quest. And as without you can't do the hell do you want? Nice move. Next time. I swear to God, I got the rice. I probably should have just waited to eat. It's not gonna eat again anyway. Oh, here he is. Hello there, man. Hello there. Hello there. Man. Don't make. 